It is the 11th of the 6th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Uh, Colorado, the High Park Fire is now at 20,000 acres and growing with 0% containment. Just after 8 p.m. Sunday night, 325 evacuation order notifications were issued for the area of South County Road 38 East of uh, Gindler Ranch Road, which is west to <laughs> Mindler Ranch. The High Park Fire is moving rapidly this direction. And uh, 36 wildfires burn across Alaska after lightning strikes. With lightning strikes peaking in June, it's no wonder that the first month of summer is typically Alaska's most active wildfire. This June is no exception. It's way too wet. Gulf Coast battered by 18 inches of rain in 24 hours. Hundreds of homes flooded. Um, they got a picture of a kid uh, tubing in a Walmart parking lot. Britain on flood alert as severe weather wrecks, wreaks havoc. And uh, Britain has been placed on flood alert on Monday as the weather continues to wreak havoc across the country during the first month of the summer. Uh, they've had ongoing storms, record-breaking stuff going on uh, for a while now. Severe hailstorm sweeps through Colorado and Wyoming. And uh, destructive hailstones coated the ground so thickly that the landscape appeared to be covered in snow. Stunned residents took Facebook and Twitter to share photos of bizarre weather which blocked roads and left some cars almost totally submerged in hailstorms. Um, so the, the major hailstorms continue. And, uh, and of course the raging fires burned thousands of acres in Colorado and New Mexico. Uh, the New Mexico fires continue. Over to the extinction protocol. Kashmir rocked by four earthquakes, no damage reported. That's uh, Pakistan, India border, that big mountainous region. They just had that major landslide, uh, very seismically active area. Guatemala's Fuego volcano erupts for the second time in 2012. Uh, it's located about 50 kilometers south of the capital. On Sunday, spewed a column of ash up to a kilometer high, government agency reported. Some more uh, economy stuff. Italy's bank reportedly takes Roman holiday, leaving depositors holding the bag. They've seized one of the biggest banks in, in uh, Italy, BNI, um, seized all the accounts, <laughs> and people are stuck without ATM cards and uh, the ability to pay their bills and perform their everyday life. Mild geomatic geomagnetic storm alert for glancing CME blasts. Uh, the sun's been popping off some M, flare, M flares lately and uh, pretty pretty lights and all that stuff. Powerful 5.8 magnitude earthquake strikes uh, the islands off of Greece and uh, hundreds forced from homes as flash flooding hits Wales. I know I reported on this a few days ago. And again, that's where they had to literally come out with rescue crews and helicopters and boats and uh, rescue people from their cars and homes and businesses and that kind of thing. And of course, East, East India lashed by tremors and a major heat wave. Their heat wave continues. Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, Catla Volcano has made the list. Uh, there's some more seismic activity. They're saying it's, uh, it looks like it's starting to rumble down a little bit. Uh, there have been some minor eruptions that they can tell through um, geoplastic flows, uh, the water flows from underneath the glaciers kind of thing. And um, definitely an untick. Catla is way past due. Uh, flash flooding in Thailand. And of course Wales. Over to e, &E News. Uh, there's a lot of some crazy things going on tonight. 1,300 people file criminal complaint against Japan's government officials and TechGo executives. Uh, basically, they are suing them for lying to the people, um, exposing them to public, and and um, hampering um, evacuation efforts and not evacuating people where they should be, kind of thing. Uh, report, Japan journalist says it's all a big conspiracy theory to conceal the facts. 
the public has been brainwashed local press is just covering things up and that just seems to be the word of the day over there local LA paper pay attention radioactive sea spray has been shown to blow hundreds of kilometers inland a study shows uh, some British and European scientists did a study on um, the sea mist and the nuclear react and the, the radioactive isotopes that are in the ocean now from all the, the nuke blasting and stuff, the americenium. Uh, they're calling it a normal level of americenium and plutonium, uh, both man-made isotopes. That's nothing normal about that. It's just accumulating, accumulating for decades now. And um, it gets up into the sea mist and it says it's going to accumulate up to several hundreds of kilometers inland, but the major concentrations are going to be within uh, three to five kilometers, maybe a little extended out depending on the wind and that kind of thing. Uh, be very aware if you're close to the coast of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, Manachi cattle attack police car in Fukushima. A Chernobyl bio biologist, biologist, sorry, one hog attacked our car with such force we almost went into the ditch, and they've got a video on that. And uh, listen to Fukushima special first hour guest Arnie Gunderson. When someone steps forward and publishes, we're going to see higher radioactivity levels in California bluefin tuna. So the bluefin are radioactive, the seaweed's radioactive, that means the ocean's radioactive. Um, so you better be aware of the ocean mists and where they go and how toxic that can be. Researchers having extraordinary difficult time getting Fukushima articles published due to nuclear industry pressure. And of course they're trying to keep a lid on this as much as they can. A uh, US physician on Fukushima, beware of all life forms you take out of the Pacific. And that is the video I did yesterday promoting um, uh, the Doctor of Truth. He's doing a Fukushima update. And uh, come on, Doc. Keep it up, buddy. We need you. And finally tonight, there's a lot more going on. 1,000 U.S. high school students, high school students, to do volunteer cleanup, tree planting in Fukushima, Miyagi, Iwait, and several other prefectures and observe Japan's recovery. Uh, following this, the footsteps of the students from the Middle Tennessee State University, 1,000 high school students from across the United States will be volunteering in the disaster affected area. Activities will include cleanup, planting trees, according to the Japanese Government Foundation who invited them. Let's get down to the meat of it. Uh, the above t Japan Times article does not say much about the students' activities beyond cultural exchanges, but the Foundation's press release does. Kyoto News had a PR release from the Japan Foundation. A government corporation is under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in April of this year, according to the event. According to the PR release, the project's called Kizuna, uh, K-I-Z-U-N-A, Strengthening Project. The high school students from all over the U.S. will visit uh, the prefectures and stay for two weeks and do volunteer works, cleaning, planting trees, etc., and mix with the local residents in various activities to experience how the recovery is taking place. Uh, the first batch of students will stay in the region from June 10th, they're there now, to 23rd, and the second batch from July 1st to 14th, and the third and last from July 8th to 21st. These kids are already lined up and ready to go. Uh, the foundation and the ministry behind the foundation are hoping that these young impressionable students will return to the U.S. and start disseminating the positive, happy images of Japan's wonderful recovery from the earthquake and tsunami disaster of March 11, 2011. Counter baseless rumors with the further understanding of the situation in Japan by the U.S. citizens. Um, that's this guy's translation from their PR species. Then he goes on, I almost forgot this Kizuna Strengthening Project. 
will invite a total of 10,000 high school and college students from the U.S. and the Asia Pacific region over a year period. For your information, the original meaning of Kazuna in Japanese is a rope that ties down the legs of a horse so it cannot escape. Some say it's to tie down the cows. Either way, it's the rope used to tie you down so you cannot escape. The insanity continues. These parents should be brought up on charges, child endangerment, Nuclear power is a crime against humanity. <sighs> Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.